least seven years ago now, we spotted this lonely, bleak looking, uh, very uninteresting building uh, in a, in a, on a bleak November day actually. Uh, and we thought, you know, that might work. So my wife and I put all of our money into it, uh, which seemed to be a bit of a gamble until we opened the door in about the March of that year. Well, the kitchen's always been under development and that's why I've always worked uh, very closely with Bob Vardy because it, kind of Bob understands our journey and understands me, you know. So the first kitchen that went in might have coped with about a 40-seater restaurant. I mean, we were working off a six burner, a double fryer and a grill, and that, that was it really. When we were discussing the, the kitchen and the build and everything like that, it's, it's daunting for people such as myself to think about spending like 80 grand on a kitchen. You know what I mean? It's worrying. The conversations I had with Bob is, it is gonna work, isn't it, Bob? And I get, well, remember six years ago and we're standing inside of an old little building, Martin, and I said, yeah, it's gonna work, trust us, it'll work. Putting this kit in has meant that we've been able to uh, stabilise our consistency, increase our output, increase our efficiency. Uh, one thing that I am looking forward to seeing is our future fuel bills going forward because I know they'll have they'll have dropped dramatically. It's sort of decreased the workload. We're not wrestling with big pans now. We're not wrestling with like what we call pan traffic. So it has made life easier while giving us the ability to increase our capacity. We've got a, um, our, our plancher, which has got four um, sections on, so each one can be sort of turned on, to, you know, so we can have full four on. Uh, if we have full four on, we can actually use pans on there as well, which is really, it's a really good way to work. So you're not just sort of having to use the induction areas to put pans on. You can actually cook on the plancher itself as well. Um, that can be then all cleared away and then during service just used for direct contact cooking. Uh, but also it's in the different zones as well, so you can use your meat on one zone, your fish on other zones, you know, break it down like that. And then you've got those... Um, the induction um, units, which are amazing. The, the, the speed which they'll bring to boil is just incredible. There's a difference between a classically trained chef and a bill pier, and both, yeah. So for me to walk in and see a, um, a solid top blasting away all day, we used to make you cry, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, especially when you become the bill pier and the chef. But these things, it's, a, it's about efficiency. Yeah, and I think, you know, we all watch our, uh, our gross profit margins and things like that, we're all very conscious about that. But then if you've got something wasting fuel, then it's not sort of going to benefit you that much. Where with this, it's like pan off, no power, no cost, put it on instant heat virtually, way faster than you'd get on a, a gas unit. What we were trying to achieve was a better method of service for the client to allow him to serve from the back of his kitchen forward along a cook suite towards a pass. Now in order to do that we had to find a suite that was double sided, a suite that had lots of functionality and lots of choice so we could give him exactly what he wanted to meet his menu demands. We decided that electricity was going to give him the best option. Uh, we know the benefits of using induction compared to uh, standard cooking from an energy saving point of view. He was also very interested in using the multi-cooker concept which is something that I'd spoke to Marino about and they'd told me they could provide a solution for what he wanted. So electric was the best solution. The way that the customer wanted it is he wanted to have a surface in the middle which could be used for doing stocks and large pans and bones and things in the morning and then could be wiped down and used for direct cooking during service. Now, what we've put in the middle there is a four zone cooker which has four different temperatures. So ideally you can have a chef either side. Each chef then has two independent zones which can be at completely two different temperatures. Either side of that they have an induction for instant heat with a retained heat on the, on the aforementioned uh, four zone in the middle. So it gives them everything they need and lots of different ways to cook their fish product and send it down the pass without having to be passing each other and without having to then be going looking for other equipment in other parts of the kitchen. I've dealt with Moreno in one way or another for probably 20 years. Uh, I had used a, a former 
a format incarnation of what was the 110 suite in various other places in the past and I liked it. It was robust, it was reliable and in this instance as well it had to look good because it's on show through the pass from the restaurant.